Okay. Playing against Jaina, Miss Proudmore. Gonna assume you are tempo or mech, in which case this hand is complete garbage. And we will hope for something better. That is the kind of beta that we were hoping for. The Death Lord and the double armor smith. <laughs> oh snap. Just don't have a turn one play and I am in dream territory. Hello. Hello, hello. You are in for a world of pain. Unless, unless she is freeze, and then it's not so, because my, my, this particular list seems, is especially effective against tempo, and aggro specifically it's especially effective against, but I, I feel like as such it will suffer a bit in the control matchups. Like, you don't want Death Lord in a control matchup. Like, if this is freeze mage, or combo mage, and I pull out arc mage for him, that's a problem. So I'm guessing he's setting up for the Frostbolt, in which case I should play the second Armor Smith instead of the Death Lord, because that way I get more armor value out of it. I assume that's what that move was, but this is also exceedingly concerning to me, because it means that I feel like, with no turn one or two play, that I am in fact running against a Control and or Freeze Mage, and that is a problem. In which case, I am actually gonna have him copy Death Lord Strike. Let's see what we get, baby. Not Strike. bad. Not the greatest, though. Um, would have much preferred probably Alex Straza, because an 8 8 body this early on could be a nightmare for him. But it didn't happen. Okay, so he is tempo. <laughs> Gonna rewind everything that I just said. He's not freeze, obviously. He's the tempo style. This is kind of hilarious, by the way. Also kind of hilarious. Guys, look at my... Can we just look at my board for a second? We're on turn five. We've got two Blackwing Corruptors, a Death Lord, and two Armor Smiths in play. Even were he to Blizzard, I would not be upset because I would get 10 armor? <laughs> but he's Tempo, so he's probably not going to Blizzard. So I probably are just running away with this game. Like, there's a good chance he's just like, up the river. Not a chance. How does he, how does he come back? How does he possibly win this game? I don't think it's possible. I could set up for a huge whirlwind value. For massive armor. Sure, let's just, let's just go aggressive. And, um, just win the game next turn. Unless he freezes right now. What the hell? He's at three health. I'd like to reiterate that I'm a control warrior variant, and he's at three health right now. This is kind of insane. I'm just gonna say this is kind of insane. Just a wee bit. Let's see if he turns it around though. Here's the flame strike. He still probably dies unless he gets the sludge belcher in play. Does he do it? Does he get the sludge belcher? Thanks for the 10 armor. Let's see what you get out of the death lord. You are at three health. What does he get? He gets a piloted shredder and he loses the game. All right. Okay. This is where we redeem ourselves because this little bastard ruined our day earlier. Not this guy in particular, but a hunter. And the Death Lord and Armorsmith and Brawl is exactly what we want against this type of a deck. So I could coin Armorsmith. And I think I will. It puts me a turn away from Death Lord, but I can Armor Smith next turn and I can deal with that guy. So now this lets me walk into this, armor up, and then the turn after Death Lord. My option is to do nothing, take the two, and then play Death Lord next turn? Is that a better option? It depends on what he does this turn, I guess. If he plays a big creature, then, or, you know, whatever. A decent two drop, then it's a concern. Get in there and fight! Okay, he's gonna trade up. This is good, actually. Um, because this really slows him down. Look at it, he's got three cards in hand now. And we're gonna play Death Lord next turn. Oh, that is even better. So, we played a game against Hunter where we got completely wrecked because we did not draw a strong early game. And now, we have drawn a strong early game. So let's see how the cookie crumbles. Because th this is, this is where, if we're gonna win, this will be how. Like... Having a Death Lord, an Armorsmith, and a Fiery War Axe early game, you really couldn't ask for any better. The problem 
I'm at 19. Like, we've taken a lot of damage. So we're gonna have to start focusing on armoring up. I might just play the Acolyte because the card draw will be worth it. Half of me wants to pop that so he doesn't pump it up. But if he doesn't pump up one, he's just gonna pump up the other. We've got the revenge coming up too, actually. Maybe I do pop. I'm gonna pop one of them. Because we're gonna have like a big, we're gonna have a great, amazing revenge turn as a possibility here. Especially with the Acolyte, we could guarantee three draws off of the Acolyte, which would be insane. Honestly, if we don't win this game against a Hunter, we're not gonna win any game against a Hunter. Because this is about as dream as you could get. I love how it's just giving me draws. I even drew the Baron Geddon. It does not get better. If we don't win this game, we will never win a Hunter game. If we do not win this game, we will never, ever, ever win a Hunter game. I wonder if that's freezing. Nope, so it's explosive. Absolutely play the revenge here. I'm gonna make sense not to. Okay. If I do not win this game, I will never win a game against a hunter ever in my life. <laughs> it continues to get better and better. Okay, so I'm gonna say maybe that's freezing. If it is, I'm gonna attack with this guy first. It's explosive, all right. Whoopsie daisy. All right, it's fine. Um, actually, I'm still scared, I'm at freaking 12 health. Maybe I don't play this, maybe I shield block, shield slam. Oh God, this is terrifying. I wield the power. So that's freezing. No, all he, all he runs is two explosives, interesting. I hope he draws into a weapon, I'd like to Harrison. If I don't start armoring up, oh my god, I'm gonna lose this game. <laughs> I am actually gonna lose this game. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this game. How does that even happen? How does that happen? What the F? There's still a very good chance that I lose this game. I cannot believe this. Don't you dare, Hunter. Don't you dare have an arcane golem. No! <laughs> what? You piece of shit. I do have a Gorhal, I just don't think it's necessary in this deck. All right, I might coin out Deathlord next turn. Just to get something rolling in his face, force him to deal with it, see if he has an execute. We've been running into straight up aggro a little bit less, which I feel makes this deck less valuable. Because the, the build is supposed to be really good against just straight aggro when you're dealing with a lot of face, but we haven't really been seeing that too much. Let's just do it, whatever. Let's just put the double Death Lord in play, see if we can get out one of his combo minions, um, and then kill it before he makes use of it. Because I'm, I'm just assuming this is pa um, Patron. So if we can get out one of his combo minions, and then kill it, that'll put us in a really good spot. Do we play on cu Curve with a Fiery War Axe? Let's play this. What is he going to do to it? Let's put out more pressure. Let's keep let's keep this going. This is a very strange start. I've never started a warrior game like this. Not a control one, at least. This is like... We've got some damage on board. It's got a lot of health. This could work out. Who knows? This could actually work out for us. So I'm just going to go, 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 go. Let's see if he brawls this. Let the pain speak to me. That's a bummer because I can't, I'd only get one card draw from my Acolyte, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. 
Okay, so it is, um, it is patron. I'm gonna take the three to face, I believe. And you know what? Since it's patron, he probably doesn't have brawl. So let's overcommit our creatures. Since he probably doesn't have brawl. And just threaten to kill him. He could emperor right now. If he does, it's fine. We still have those two huge taunts for him to go through. Now the taunts suck once he gets a charged uh, patron in play, but he can't do that yet. If he does fill up his board with patrons, we have the brawl. And we're applying enough pressure that we could actually potentially kill him before he can do too much to us. So this is uh, interesting. I'm going to say it's a toss up right now. It really depends on what he's got going for him. So he's going to play a uh, frothin? Nope. Just gonna try to get rid of one of those death lords. Alright, so let's see what he gets off of this. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. I'm gonna get a card. Do we gonna give him armor for card draw? So we can clear his board here. I should give him less armor. I know normally you card draw first, but I want to kill the armor first, and I want to kill the armor with face. So kill the armor with face, then we card draw. Then we kill the war song. And we just armor up. That's all right. I don't like his full hand. I feel like my odds have uh, dwindled dr dramatically since he was able to um, get rid of both those Death Lords. Too bad we can't do both, huh? It's fine though. Um, it's worth it's worth triggering his thing. So because I, I don't want him to get to use the whirlwind effect. I want it's better if I get to decide when it happens more detrimental for him. If only we could deal with that too. I mean, we're looking to be in an okay position here though. Potentially, anyways. Because we're getting him pretty low. It's too bad this list doesn't run uh, Hellscream. A fight. Count me. No war song, wow. Back to work. Everyone, get in here. This is the perfect response. And whatever comes out we can deal with. Of course it's the fucking five one. Let's just execute it. Oh, that might have been suicide. Oh my god. If he has... Okay. I was gonna say, if he had combo, that would have been suicide. I should sacrifice this so he can't um, get a billion patrons. I'm, I'm doing that specifically so he doesn't get a bunch of patrons. That's the reason. Whew. Uh, Sarah Awakens is what I want off of her. So now I'm, uh, it's starting to tilt a bit, and I'm th starting to think that he actually has a pretty strong advantage, because I don't have much to finish him, and he still has got some huge combo potential. Let the pain speak to me. Okay, so he doesn't have combo this turn, because he would have played it with that whirlwind. Just did that all to execute? That's fine. Can walk into that. Play the Laughing Sister. Hilarious enough, I actually don't want to play her. All right, let's uh, draw first. Is there trouble? 
Hilariously enough, I actually don't want to play Alex Straza. So all I do is give him life. Although it is a big body, so it might be worth playing still. Even if I give him four life. I could save it for when I'm low. But it's one of those things where I feel like if he gets me low enough and I have to respond by Alex Strazing, he's just gonna win anyways. You know what I mean? I should be fine. I can Alex Straza him next turn after I've worked past his armor. So next turn, I can work through his armor and Alex Straza him. It sucks giving him four life, but um, having that eight damage in play is pretty big. I, I might not have to. Maybe I just leave these two creatures. I'll have to think about it. We'll have to see what he does right now. He's obviously sitting on combo. He's just trying to decide when to use it. So he's gonna try to get a bunch of armor in the future. It's not right now, huh? All right, um, well, there's gonna be no better opportunity, so I'm just gonna use this now. I know I'm giving him life, but whatever. I bring life and, hope. and we're gonna kill this to stop him from gaining a bunch of armor. Um, the big thing with playing Alex Straza is just to get the 8-8 body in play and uh, threaten to kill him next turn. Now, he, he's gonna combo right now. The question is how much can he do with it? I, I'm assuming he can't do 50 damage, but I could be wrong. Actually, 48 damage. Okay, so this shouldn't be 48 damage. It's gonna be a lot though. Four, five, six, seven, plus another. Oh my god. He just one shot me. This is why playing against Patron is stupid. I'm at 50 health, and he kills me right here. How am I supposed to play around that? I'm at 50 health, and he kills me. Excuse me, 48 health. How am I supposed to play around that? We've had pretty uh, pretty good success against mages. So we'll see what we get here. It really comes down to whether or not we get boned by all late game draw. Man, oh man. We could have had that game like piece of cake, but I'm gonna stop complaining about it. If this is the shield of minion bot that blows. Okay, that's good. Get rid of that. There's the Death Lord. That's what we want, baby. That is what we want. We could potentially clear whatever he plays. Looks like he's not gonna play anything unless he got a really bad unstable portal. So we play Death Lord now, and we play Armor Smith and um, Armor Up next turn. Now there's a few things that this could pull that would really hurt us, because it is a tempo, or it's a mech mage, so there's a few mechs that would really be painful, but overall, we should be fine. Does he ice lance this? Holy shit. So that's a bummer, but it is what it is. We got a chance that it hits the armor smith, which would be really good. If I Fiery War Axe right now, I could play Harrison next turn. He probably doesn't have weapon removal. So let's just, this lets me play Harrison next turn because he doesn't have a weapon, so I don't have to worry about that. I could get really lucky with this Ogre here. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Never lucky. That's a good one to pull, though, because we can just take, take that out right now. Let's just play Harrison. That belongs in a museum. It's not gonna have any weapons to kill. It can test his board. Thank you for the armor, my good friend. Thank you for the armor, my good friend. Serious, I appreciate that. <laughs> and now we kill his blast mage. This is really good. 
I could still actually shield slam that and hold on to my shield maiden. But if I do that, then I don't develop the board with a shield maiden, which I almost rather just do. And hold on. Yeah, let's just, let's develop the board. Let's kill this and develop the board Strike. over um, holding on to the armorsmith. Because if I hold on to the armorsmith, well, I could develop the board with an acolyte as well. That's actually not too bad. One, two, three. I must choose. What now? Let the pain speak to me. I'm just gonna take the face damage because the acolyte could. <sighs> I'm getting all my words mixed up. The armor smith could give me a lot of value. I know I just took five face damage. Maybe it was actually worth. Is the armor smith likely to give me five armor? Probably not. So it might have been. It might have been a better play to just sacrifice the armor smith. It might have been a better play to just sacrifice the armor smith. Actually, now she's gonna get. Holy shit! The value is real. The value is so real. Bring the pain. Oh. Does not, scare me. not a lot of targets for big game hunter, so I'm gonna play it to contest the board. I've got the beast Strike. In my side. And now, because of Death Lord, Armorsmith might actually get a boatload of value. In before Bling Trong? Okay. It's possible, but it's not common, so I don't play around it. But yes, there is the possibility that he plays Bling Trong. It's also the possibility that he... I don't know. Just name any random ass card here. So he's gonna get through that. Um, kill... He's gonna get... I, I get so much value out of this, though. Good, good, good. So I guess I kill that. I ended up getting a lot of value out of the Armorsmith. It turned out to actually work out for me. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, so he's gonna want to walk this into this, in which case I'll let him walk this into this plus a pink. Well, I was debating whether or not I made the right move, but after seeing all of the freaking armor that Armorsmith has given me, the answer is yes, it I'll paid off. <laughs> it paid off. It sure as hell paid off. So now he walks that into that, sacrifices the thing into the 5-4. He's gonna have a better board than I do. Um, but I've got so much health right now, I think I just Alex Straza him down and force him to deal with Alex. I bring life. Polymorph is a strange tech and not super common, so I don't expect that to happen. Magic detected. That's a little bit of a bummer, but I'm still at fairly high health and I've got the shield maiden. I think he's probably just gonna go 100% face here. Um, I think my next best play might be a Sarah because we could get the board clear off of her. Yeah, he's just gonna try to rush face. I think we're gonna have Sarah right now. I, will mourn you. I could also execute. I'm gonna hold on to it though. Yeah. He's got a, he's only got eight damage in play and he's top decking. So we're in a fairly good spot. Dream is nice. We're gonna slow down his tempo hugely with this. I think, I guess we dream that actually. So I can kill his, kill some of his bigger stuff, and then we uh, armor smith. Uh, oh, there's an execute. So let's use one of our executes here. Kill both of his minions, and uh, win the game. We win the game right here. That's that's the game right there. <laughs> We've had a fair, we've had a fairly good, uh, we've had a fairly good matchup against mages, which warrior in general is supposed to. It's just fun playing this variant, playing a different warrior than my, than the standard control warrior that I play. It's nice to, uh, it's nice to try something a little offbeat. So he's not giving up. Oh yes, he is. He didn't have to. The game wasn't over yet. 
The game's not over. I still have to go through that. Uh, I guess I'm at 18 health, so the game is pretty much over. <laughs> 